my name is Anastasia Hall, is better known as Coach Ace. I want to welcome you to today's video. Welcome to Ace and Rich Freedom by Design. In today's video, I want to teach you how you can be a super affiliate badass with your time management. That's right. I'm going to show you exactly my own DMO calendar so that you can know exactly how to treat your business and how to manage your time actually online. So let me share a quick story with you. Four weeks ago, I invested into hiring a coach named Greg Davison. And Greg Davison actually came across me with an actual introduction from Rich because Rich and him go way back in 2008 and they were in a previous company together and that's how they met at a live event. And so fast forward, you know, Rich and him have been connected online. And then finally, Greg Davison came out with his own coaching program called the Top Gun Academy. Well, Top Gun actually came to my rescue and I'm happy to be a Top Gun member because one of the many reasons I invested into his program was for the mere fact he has the credibility. He knows how to build a successful multiple seven figure business online. And I was having my own challenges too. So let me share with you one of the many reasons why I joined Top Gun Academy and this is not a Top Gun Academy review by any means but I just want to share with you exactly why that I hire a coach to help me with my time management well first of all oh here we go we got we have a little visitor here my my little baby arrow hang on arrows okay so one of the many reasons why is I had a challenge with my time management and I was spending too much time doing the wrong things. I wasn't being as productive as I needed to be in my business. I wasn't being as consistent as I needed to be in my business. And I was literally suffering from overwhelm. Yes, Coach Ace was dealing with overwhelm. I had to learn that in order to structure my day, to break down my activities and tasks into four types of important activities. Let me go over them real quick. Number one high lifetime value activities now what does high lifetime value activities really mean it means to spend more time on your mindset work harder on yourself and you know get real productive so work on your productivity skills and spend time on building your leadership skills the other thing that i also was having problems with was staying laser focused on one task at a time and this is where greg davison was working with me and teaching me pomodoro techniques so i have done pomodoros in the past but that was only with just the block with the 25 minute block so I have a little bit of a warm-up but with Greg in Top Gun Academy he was teaching more in depth about how to use Pomodoro throughout the day so those were really really helpful um, I was also learning and applying daily marketing skills like free and paid marketing strategies so those are considered to be lot high lifetime value type activities and also creating the consistent content like blogging and video marketing Number two, the second leverage activity is high dollar per hour activities. Now remember, you're not working a J-O-B anymore, so you don't have anybody telling you what to do. But when you're in your own online business, you have to know these four activities. So the high dollar per hour activities are some things like testing and tracking and tweaking in your marketing campaigns, looking really close at your analytics, your metrics. You got to know your numbers, right? And then emailing my list of subscribers consistently twice a day, every day. That's right. And on top of that, hosting my own webinars, as well as calling and communicating with my leadership team. The leaders that are on my team that are actually marketing and working hard, I'm supposed to be connecting with them. So I was having a hard time with that. And then number three are low dollar per activity. So low dollar per hour activities. These are activities like wasting time reading emails that are not business related, um, wasting time watching YouTube videos that are not business related, right? Um, browsing websites as well as shopping online and spending time like that that is not business related so those are low dollar per hour activities that i was guilty of and doing until i actually had greg help me with top gun academy and number four zero to negative value activities these are activities that have no value whatsoever hence the term zero right nada so browsing facebook right getting distracted by your news feed answering messenger messages all day long okay reading non-related business emails like what the heck right that right there will definitely take you away from your productivity tending to people's whining and complaining and bitching and moaning 
leads and prospects, even prospects can bitch and moan too, but they can take your time away from what you really have to do. So if you're answering to everybody's beck and call, those are considered to be negative value activities, as well as trying to solve people's problems within like your Facebook groups and communities that you are a part of, that could rob you of your time as well. So I'm sure you can totally relate to what I'm saying here, and you know that this is what's affecting your productivity. So I was also dealing with some other challenges, and this is another reason why I hired a coach. I was very less active and not eating really healthy. Um, even though I said I was eating healthy, I tried really hard. But if I had to tend to everybody's beck and call, I was like eating bad snacks, right? And drinking soda and having too much coffee. So that was not good. Cooking dinners late for the family. Who can relate to this one, right? Raise your hand. Okay. I was cooking dinner too late for my family. So I still had to do productive things. But at the same time, my dinner was not being cooked on time. And I was forced to order out. And that wasn't good. And letting you know about this, not getting my emails done on time or my videos on time. I was creating videos like 10, 11 o'clock at night and going to bed too late. That's another no-no. So that was robbing me of my time, right? So I really wasn't not focused and I was being scatterbrained all over the place, right? So the thing is, you know, my social media was literally taking over my life. Like literally I was living by social media and good Lord, I was getting a hit every like left and right Facebook marketing, like all over my place, like Facebook marketing here and all these things were just coming in my newsfeed and all day long they were bugging me and everything and distracting me through the notifications by other people that I was following. So thanks to the coaching and learning through Top Gun Academy, I now know how to control my time and what to do with myself in that time frame. So let's go to the screen. I want to share with you some great tips here that I have took away from our course. And I think it was in week I think it was week three, we were doing productivity and that was it right there. So let me let me show you right here. Look at it on the screen right here. Okay, this is dated July 17th, 2018. And what we're doing in our assignment is we're creating reoccurring alarms. And this means that we're using our cell phone or smartphone, creating special ringtones for each task. So like for example, your wake up time, right? Has a specific ringtone, right? And if it has a specific ringtone, I have my own personal alarm on my cell phone to wake me up at 7.30 in the morning, okay? That's supposed to be AM, not PM, <laughs> okay? So then I have the end of day ringtone for 9 PM, right? So at nine o'clock sharp PM, I'm supposed to like unplug, stop everything, you know, and get ready for my hot, my hard stop because my hard stop is going to tell me to get ready for bed and really enough is enough. No more business. That's it. No calls, no nothing, right? No emails, just hard stop. And that's my actual ringtone for my hard stop. Then I'm customizing my routine. And these are my customized routines, like my morning ritual. What do I do? Well, Ace gets up at 7.30 AM. I wake up, go to the bathroom, wash up, get dressed, you know, do my daily gratitude journaling, you know, things that I have to do and write down. I'll write down about three things that I'm grateful for, you know, and then I do like a five minute meditation, which is like, I just, you know, come into myself and I just meditate and just relax and like no business yet. Don't even touch Facebook, don't touch the computer, don't touch anything, right? And then I'll pick up a book and I'll do like five minutes of like, you know, one page reading or something, you know, out of my personal development books that I'm reading. And then I'm actually doing that to help get my mind, you know, fixed for the day, right? Get it, get it prepared, you know, worked up, prepared. And then I'm literally doing this test. I've never done this before until I joined Top Gun was I actually had to start making my bed, right? I had to start making my bed. And the thing is, my bed was like shit, you know, <laughs> pillows everywhere, you know, even the decorative pillows are on the floor. No, no, no. I had to make my bed. So now I make my bed, right? And then the reward for doing just the morning ritual and accomplishing it is I get to have my bowl of oatmeal with my fresh fruit. So that is going to be for me. And then my evening ritual is I get to spend 10 minutes, okay, 10 minutes to review the day's results. That means whatever marketing I did throughout the day that I was productive, okay, I'm literally reviewing and seeing the results. Did I get a lead? Did I get a click? Did I get a sale? You know, did I get, you know, anything, any of those results, right? And then figure out how I can improve next time, right? Because depending on the results. And then I spend five minutes to plan out tomorrow's tasks, right? Tomorrow's activities. What am I going to do tomorrow? You know, what do I need to tackle first? What is high priority? What's low priority? And then 10 minutes, I'll do a little bit more reading. I'll review and respond to my emails. And this is what I actually consider to be my batch time, right? 
Now, I don't have that written here, but I'm just letting you know it's called batch timing. So I'm batching my time. So like between 5 and 6.30 or so, I'm batching my time. I'm doing all this other stuff like reading emails, getting back to, you know, team members questions and things like that, that they're sending me a messenger, um, any text messages that I get from my team or, you know, people with contacts, prospects. I can do all of that within that block, right? See, I didn't do that before and that's what's so cool. And then I get to reward myself by shutting down the damn computer, right? All mobile devices shut off. That's it. Put it on vibrate or shut it off, right? Completely shut down. And that's what's really important because, you know, we live literally by our phones. When we become digital marketers, we tend to like, you know, let technology run our lives. We can't let that happen, right? And then I'm planning ahead for adversity. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, this is just customized to me and my circumstance and lifestyle. This will be totally different for you if you start following this. But starting with, you know, like I specifically said on this date, I'm going to start this challenge, right? So 7-18-2018 to, to the 24th, I'm going to walk my dogs. And you just saw him, Eros and Damon, that's his other brother, in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening, right? And I'm going to feed them their food and water before we start the day right so that's what i do and then i'm going to put a sign out on the door so that my son's friends don't come over knocking on the door banging away um trying to come to the house and visit him because they shouldn't be here until three o'clock because morning is where i'm most productive right so my most productive time is in the morning i don't want no visitors so i had to make a sign guys and put it right there on the door it says no visitors allowed we're live on youtube <laughs> and it actually works it keeps them out um, and then I work out for a little bit. Now I haven't been as consistent with my workout and this is a work in progress with me because I handle so many things, but Ace has to take care of herself. And you know what? Ace has been really taken advantage of. So I need to really take care of Ace, right? So I need to be more productive with working out and being consistent with that. So Rich has got me on a regimen where I don't have to like go to the gym so much and I can just be home and like do some legs, curls and things like that, you know, and deadlifts. I can do a little bit of that and that's good. And that helps keep me, you know, moving, right? Including moving with the dogs, right? And then um, I put my phone on airplane mode. Guys, this is a godsend. If you know you got airplane mode, use the airplane mode on your phone because that is a godsend. You can use that to like block out all distractions, even phone calls, you know, from like your mom or things like that, like on during the business time. You can't take any calls from nobody when you're working. So make sure you do that. And then cooking dinner. Remember I told you? Cooking dinner at three o'clock. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that kind of early? I used to cook dinner at seven and dinner would not be ready till 10. Okay. So it used to take me a long time, but now since I'm learning through Top Gun Academy and working with Greg Davison, my coach, you know, I'm starting to cook dinner on time and have dinner ready by five. So, you know, I know you guys want to come over to the house and eat, right? <laughs> so that right there is helping me stay productive. Now, this is something that it was absolutely like a great tip in the time management and uh, Greg was teaching us that if any time we're distracted regardless of whatever I just talked about I need to make necessary adjustments or I need to back up on my time or cut back on any of my rewards Ooh, that's gonna sting isn't it that's exactly what happened one day I actually didn't do my task and I actually got mad at myself and I remember this and I said you know what Ace can't go for that walk today, can't reward myself for a walk, or I can't have that pina colada like I want to, right? Or that piece of chocolate. See, you got to find whatever reward you can, but this is how you stay accountable to yourself. Now, how do we put all this in a calendar, in a bird's eye view? Take a look at this. I'm going to show you my calendar right here. I have everything laid out. I've got my whole entire day planned out for the week okay I know exactly what I'm doing every single day I know when I'm taking a break I know when I'm drinking water I know when I'm doing my calls when I'm coaching my students one by one you know like I have it all laid out wow isn't that awesome I didn't have my calendar like this before but thanks to working with hiring a coach and learning about time management I'm able to do this so that's pretty much it. I just said so much. I shared so much with you guys. Please let me know with the likes button by smashing the hell out of it that you love this video and you liked it. And definitely comment below this video of your greatest takeaways. Any tips that I said that really resonated with you that was like, wow, Ace, that was awesome. Put it there in the comment. I really want to know how this is really reaching out and helping you with your time management struggles as well as subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss a beat when we're actually going live. And 
make sure that if you like more information about the number one recommended income system that is generating leads and sales and teaching us all about becoming successful digital entrepreneurs click the link in the description for more information and with that being said my name is anastasia hollis better known as coach ace and i will see you on the next video take care